Great shrimp. Donnie over here at Bait Daddy's. You know, we got you covered on the shrimp, croaker, any kind of dead bait, tackle you might forget. Heading out to the west end, come see us. Feed them juicy ones. What's the lid? Yeah, you just push it in. It has a little thing that snaps in. All right. Yeah, grab that bucket for me. Uh, hey everybody welcome back i got chris for with me today hey guys and we are fishing in the surf uh do a little surf fishing stop the bait daddy's got some live bait live shrimp and uh yeah we're gonna catch some hopefully catch some trout we're just right at sunrise you can't really see the sun just yet a little overcast uh the water's gonna be very very cold i think yeah i already tried it it's freezing out here yeah. i'm not out here but in the water so wish us luck Fingers crossed, and hopefully catch us hooking up. Yeah. Then after looking at it, oh god, it's cold. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, I already felt it. Some of it's chilly. Oh, it's chilly. Yeah, it's freaking clean out here. Good. You gotta just take it like a man. He's <laughs> gonna take it like a man. He's gonna take it like a man. And that's why you don't see a lot of people weight fishing this morning. Because it is freezing and mix poly gold. You can, but let me just focus on uh getting us over this little bit of a this little bit of a wave action right here. Through that. He'll come over here where it's literally like a little smoother over here. You don't have that much break going on. But the good thing about the break is that it's a steep sandbar. So you kinda want a sandbar, but you don't need like too much of a break so they're like during the overnight a lot of the a lot of the the fish get closer so because the bait gets closer the fish get closer so when they start pushing off a little more then the fish then the bigger fish the, the bait will start pushing off a little more and then that's when you can go to like the second and third sandbar but so right now we're on the first one correct? Yeah, we're close to the first one. Or not even on it, not having that close to it. Yeah, so, like, so we'll get on this side, and then we'll fish over there on the mm -hmm. other side of it. Oh, my hair can see my feet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're knee-deep, and you can see your feet. That's pretty awesome. That doesn't happen too, too much for us. That's the best time to, best time to fish, though. Yeah, we're going to go, we'll start going hit towards this direction. So we can get on the other side of this break and you can fish in little calmer little calmer waters this is a huge break right here. yeah but like before the break is where it dips down right yeah so that's in the dip we want to fish the ditches so we want to fish the ditches between the two sandbars so you get one sandbar you have a ditch you have another sandbar you have a ditch yeah, and and the sand and the, the second and third is like a big one mm -hmm. So, all right. Your, you want your your shrimp out of the water when you cast. So flip the flip your put your grab it with your yeah your finger and then flip the bell. Now flip the bell. Chris, turn your shoulders where you want to cast. Turn your feet. Oh. Face the direction you want to cast. Your your feet and everything else. Face your direction you want to cast. There you go. When you cast. Listen, I just told you when you cast, you want your shrimp out of the water. You had your shrimp all the way down in the water when you cast. Yeah, it's hanging too low. I, so you put your hands higher. Because what what you do is that when your shrimp's in the water, that that will slow down your your cast and hold your cast down, and also it can pull your your bait off. So look, so when you cast. Try not to try not to get your line in the water. I mean, try not to get your hook in the water. Okay? Yeah. You want to? Oh no, there it is. Look, you want to do like this. Look, if you got to cast like this, just cast it higher up like this. See? Hold your hand higher, cast it higher, and then just go where you want it to go. Okay? Put your hands higher, your elbows higher. There you go. Now cast. There you go. That's a good one. Boy. Huh? You don't know, you're fine. Don't worry about recasting. You're 100% cool. You don't know where these fish are. Oh, there's one.
little whiny. First fish of the day, not what we're looking for, but grateful. That might that might have been the little thing that we keep see boiling around us. Was a little whiting. Baby guy. Baby guy. You got him? You had him? You gotta yeah. set your hook. You just started reeling, remember? You gotta pop. To to oh, you were just. There he goes. Set your hook. Oh yeah, you're a little whiting too, huh? There you go. Good job, bud. What? I said good job, bud. Fine. Got the skunk off the rod. Watch the waves. Chris with a little whiting on. We're gonna pop him off real fast. It might be the only guys wanted to play around right now. Oh, I'm down. Come on, get off. Oh crap. Get off. Go away. Ah, dang it. Nope. This is somebody picking on it. <laughs> they took off the head. I know. Somebody's just picking on it. Little guy. Little guys. Alright. We'll get you another bait. It is dead here this morning. Super surprised though. So we'll scoot down just a little bit this. We'll scoot down just a little bit. Just don't forget to shuffle your feet. Well, this location was a bust. Ain't nothing going on here. Yeah, not, we only caught two whitings. Not even a single bite. It's crazy. So it's like seven o'clock after seven. So we should be getting on them already. So we're gonna we're gonna jump in, and the water's cold though. It is freezing. A little bit of north winds. So that could have, I don't know. That could have shifted things a little bit. But yeah, we're gonna hit down the road and see if we uh, and we'll jump in another spot. I hate leaving one location. I'd rather stick and see if the bite changes, especially. It's a weekend, so yeah, and have a lot of people on the beach, but uh, but I don't want to waste any more time. Let me get going. Well, we pulled up to this other guy, we pulled up to another beach access not too far from where we were, and we spoke to um, a man and and uh, it looked like his son they were getting out of the water and asked him how they were doing, and he said. Now they're not doing good, not doing well, didn't catch anything, nothing going on over there. Uh, they did mention that, you know, the, the, the water temp probably dropped by around 6 to 8 degrees overnight with this north wind that we had come in. And uh, they think that probably just pushed the bait off. And, you know, where the bait goes, the fish goes. So, But uh, we're going to come across to uh, Surfside, and we're going to try our luck over there. We're just going to keep heading south and see if, um, see if the fish went south yeah, for the front hopefully they did so we can catch something yeah but we're gonna spend a few more hours out here and uh yeah we're gonna jump in the water and see see what's up we're here we're out here at surfside beach now uh just went over san luis pass and we're gonna try our luck here it's not you know it's probably the same thing you know one of the things that i'm thinking is that the water is probably just a little cool yeah. uh as the day goes on it might the fishing might heat back up but we're not gonna be out here too too long. We just wanted to make a quick trip out of this and um, try to well, catch something. Yeah, well, we're just gonna keep trying. A lot of, a lot of seaweed though. In case you're thinking about coming out, watch out for them. A lot of seaweed. Haven't seen too much in the water, so that's a plus. But there's a lot on the beach. That's for sure. Dang, that's a jackfish. Oh God. That's a big jackfish. God dang it, it's cold, bro. Oh, oh, huh. Something's a little some some happened to him. A little some some. Hey, 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 something right there. I see Muller jumping. <laughs> good, good lord, good lord. Good load. Good load. Bait right there. 
so this is the first time we see bait so that's a plus hopefully we can hope hopefully we can uh and get on see if there's some fish in that bait yeah hopefully <sighs> Oh, there you go. You're down already. You're down. You're down. Set your hook. Reel the slack out. Set your hook. Set your hook. There you go. Dang it. Chris, you got to reel the slack out. Set your hook. I know. I didn't know there was slack in it. There's always slack. Every time you cast, there's slack. Oh, watch it. Watch it. Oh, it's a little guy, huh? Dang it. Little whitings, I think. So one, one thing that we did was that we downsized our hooks. We want smaller hooks this time when we got back out. I had a big kale hook on. You might want to just check it. Check your line to see if you have a, any bait left on it. Hopefully not. Hopefully they took it off. Oh, you do have a fish on. Look. Bring it to me. Look, bring it to me. It's a little croaker. All right. Isn't that there we go. There's a fish. That's a whiting, I think. Yeah, that's a whiting. What do we got? Ah, oh, that's not a fish. Yeah, yes, it is. It's a There's somebody else's line. Look, I got somebody else's line. Look. Oh, I'm down again. Oh, there you go. You want to try to take it off? No. You can wait for me. No, tell. I hope we're not all on all these whitings. It feels like a whiting. It is a whiting. We're like just we're gonna catch nothing but whitings. You got it. Nope, I don't think anything's there. Maybe a little guy. And can't tell. He's small. He is a whiting. Whiting is what's for dinner. Hopefully it's a hopefully this one's different than a whiting. He hit it and ran. But you know what? It's feeling like a whiting now. Oh my god, that's all we're catching is whitings. Bro, look at this big whiting. That's a big one. Look at that. Oh, your came off? Good job. Oh my gosh. This is a bigger one. That's why he that's why at first I thought it was something else because he hit in a wren. I'm trying to help Christopher get his fish off and this guy hit in and took off. Well, I started it. I almost had him off. But it's a little bigger one, but man, we are just catching whiting after whiting after whiting after whiting after whiting it is just ridiculous we're just like in this school of whitings and uh we would slide down but the people over to our right they're not catching anything at all so at least at least chris we're getting some exercise in in the you know so, uh, casting practicing, practicing casting and, uh, hook setting so it's all good you know Wish we had uh, better conditions. Wish we had a little bit of a sun. I think the sun come out, that would work in our favor. Kind of heat, heat us up because we're pretty chilly out here. Don't know how much longer we're going to be out here fishing, but trying to wait for some of the specklers to come out and play. So far, nothing, nothing but whitings. But it's literally been every cast, every cast there's a whiting. You don't, yeah, you don't. There was a whiting on Yeah, but they hit, right? Yeah. We were like surrounded. You see a lot of, there's like a lot of mullet all around us. So you want to be in the bait. You want to be around the bait. But not whiting. <sighs> yeah, but not whitings. Yeah, but you can see them running through and it's just the whiting is just tearing up. Oh, here we go. Yeah, Chris, look at that. That was like it mattered. That was like, what, one second on the water? Yep. Nope. Nope. You hit it and spit it. Hit it and spit it. Hit it and spit it. Pew pew. Threw it right on. You, yeah, you threw it right on his head. Ah, oh, it's chilly though, man. This we still have a little bit of a breeze of a north wind, and that's uh, real dry, not humid, so it's cold. It is cold. I'm cold. Top yeah, mine too, little guy. Yep, he's pulling it down. He's pulling it down. Did he commit yet? Nope. Well, 
that's gonna do it for me and Christopher. You know what? But we're not done with this video yet because I am gonna head back out tomorrow and I'm gonna I'm gonna keep the live shrimp overnight because this bait butler will really keep the live shrimp and bait daddies has great outstanding bait. So I know I'm gonna have some live shrimp in the morning. I have to also meet up Captain Cody. We have some kids coming from a local school that I come out to his docks, but before that, I'm gonna go fish in the morning. But Christopher has to go to school tomorrow because tomorrow yeah. is Monday. Monday. Last yes. Monday of the school year, right? Yes, and we're doing a few day at my school, so I gotta go. Yeah, but we came out, caught a ton of little whitings. Christopher, like, I'm he was, the king of the whitings. He really was the king of the whitings, and it is cold. We got a north wind, and uh, yeah, we're we're done here. But take two for Mayana. That means tomorrow.